Hello Hoopers, I'm Anna Hoops and I want to share with you a move that I like to call the sundial. It breaks down as an anti-spin flower behind the head and then following through with a linear isolation. So what I recommend knowing before getting started are anti-spin flowers and linear isolations, also known as cat eye, and being able to do them comfortably in both hands. The thing about this move is that it's kind of about everything but the hoop because what makes it look interesting is the position of the arm that's free as well as the placement of your legs. As for the arm controlling the hoop, which in this case is the left, it mostly serves as a backdrop to everything else that's going on. And when your arms go up together, it looks like a sundial because the left hand moves in the shadow of the right. The hoop starts off in the left hand, and when it crosses your body, weight shifts onto the left leg as your right arm and right leg close in on the turn together. Coming into the lunge, left arm is crossed over your chest and the hoop is on the right side. It's also good to bend down to give yourself room to come up into the anti-spin. Have your shoulders aligned with your right leg facing straight ahead so that when the right arm starts to lift up, it paves the way for the hoop to travel overhead along your back wall plane. Then as your right hand prepares for the catch, you give it a toss, left shoulder continues forwards as you pivot out on your left leg. Almost like coming into a barrel roll, when the left hand crosses your body, it lands in an anti-spin and moves up from there. You could also start from the crossover position with the hoop spinning forwards on your left hand. Developing the flexibility to get the hoop to stay on your hand as it passes over just takes practice, but it helps if you really open your chest like you're almost grazing the back of your neck with the hand that's free. Once you come out of the flower, you're lined up for the toss. Right hand follows through with an inside catch, then traces down, coming into that left leg pivot and linear isolation. For more examples of ways to transition in and out of sundial, check out the tag sundial tutorial on Instagram and feel free to use it to share your own clips. And to see more hula hooping in slow motion, check out the tag on a hoop slowing it down. Thanks so much for watching and keep me posted as you make progress. And remember to bend your knees and work that hoop.